Oh, <laughs> hello there. I heard you want to hear another story. My name is Kathy, and I'm back with a cup of Kathy story time. Today's book we'll be reading is Sulwe by Lupita Nyongo. Sulwe was born the color of midnight. She looked nothing like her family, not even a little, not even at all. Mama was the color of dawn, Baba the color of dusk, and Mish, her sister, was the color of high moon. Hardly anyone at school looked like Sulwe either. People gave her sister Mish pet names like Sunshine and Ray and Beauty. People gave Sulwe names like Blackie and Darkie and Night. Sulwe felt hurt every time. So she hid away while her sister made lots of friends. Sulwe dreamed of being the same colour as her sister. She wanted real friends too. So she got the biggest eraser she could find and tried to rub off a layer or two of her darkness. Ouch, that hurt. She crept into Mama's room and helped herself to her makeup. Oh no, she would hear about this from Mama. Then, Sunwe decided to work from the inside out. She ate only the lightest, brightest foods. You can see her eating all the food down here. With a stomach ache, she went to bed early and turned to God for a miracle. Dear Lord, why do I look like midnight when my mother looks like dawn? Please make me as fair as the parents I'm from. I want to be beautiful, not just to pretend. I want to have daylight. I want to have friends. If you hear me, my Lord, and would like to comply, may I wake up as bright as the sun in the sky. Amen. When Mama came in to wake her for school the next morning, Sulwe rose to find not a trace of daylight in her midnight skin. Then Sulwe told Mama everything. Mama asked, what is your name? Sulwe, she muttered. And what does it mean? Star, Sulwe whispered. Brightness is not in your skin, my love. Brightness is just who you are. As for beauty, Mama said, rubbing Sulwe's stomach the way she always did to comfort her. You are beautiful. Sulwe sighed. How could she, as dark as she was, have brightness in her? How could she have beauty when no one but her mother seemed to see it? How could she be a star? That night, a shooting star appeared at Sulwe's window. The night sent me, the star said. Come with me. Sulwe hopped onto the star and off they went. <clears throat> Long ago, at the beginning of time, said the star, there was night and day and they were sisters. They loved each other very much. But people didn't treat the sisters the same. P 
People gave Day pet names like lovely and nice and pretty. People gave Night names like scary and bad and ugly. She felt hurt every time. Well, Night got fed up and walked right off the earth. See, there she is just walking away. Day stayed behind and enjoyed making everybody happy in the sun. But then Day grew too long. Day began to really miss her sister. So did everyone else. There had to be a way to get her back. Day set off to find Night. And she did. I miss you, said Day. I miss you too, said Night. But you don't know what it's like to be treated badly before being dark. You're right, I don't, Day replied. But what I do know is that we need you just the way you are. Come on. Come and see. Night returned and the people rejoiced. We need the darkest night to get the deepest rest. We need you so that we can grow and dream and keep our secrets to ourselves. The stars chimed in. Brightness isn't just for daylight. Light comes in all colours. And some light can only be seen in the dark. While day had a golden glow, with night everything had a silver sheen, elegant and fine. Day told her sister, when you are the darkest is when you are most beautiful. It's when you are most you. Could it be that night did not need to change? Not even a little, not even at all. Now that night and day were back together, a little bit of night returned to day in the form of shadows and a little bit of day returned to night in the form of moonlight. They were inseparable from that moment on and they promised to celebrate the brightness in each other whether other people chose to see it or not. You see, the star explained, We need them both on their sunniest day and their darkest night and every shade in between. Together, they make the world we know light and dark, strong and beautiful. Sulwe rose the next morning beaming. There would be no hiding anymore. She belonged out in the world, dark and beautiful and strong. She's so cute. And if she ever needed a reminder of her brightness, she would look up at the sky on the darkest night to see for herself. Sulwe felt beautiful inside and out. Sulwe felt beautiful inside and out. The end. I hope you enjoyed that. Join us next time for another cup of coffee story time.